Okay, so this is the instruction video for Pixel Art 2. Uh, on this assignment, we're going to make use of the copy frame. Uh, the copy frame choice for getting a new frame, and also uh, some little more details on the brush using the brush tool and the pencil tool. So uh, if you go down to week 16, sure you already know that the assignment is in week 16 because that's where you got to this video okay so let's get started all right uh, I'm gonna go sorry back up here and go to the pixelart.com website to get started start a new drawing we want a new drawing not to continue with the old cached previous drawing that you did. Uh, we do want to get the 256 by 144 frame size. Click OK. Hit the X there. Hit the X there. And let's get started. So um, starting with the brush tool. Uh, and if I go here to tools, you can see uh, that um, the brush tool has some options here. And this is where I could change the brush size. I want, I'm going to start um, start off with a little bit bigger brush. I'm going to start with some blue sky. So what we're trying to do, we get some deep blue sky going. So what we're trying to do here is, it's like a time lapse of a drawing starting from scratch. Okay, so we start with a blank canvas here, and we're going to start to color in our background so I'm going to click copy frame okay and we're gonna paint a little more copy frame copy frame so I'm just gonna keep coloring and copying just don't forget to click copy frame every couple of brush strokes uh, you don't want to do this whole drawing on one frame because that is a very short animation, if it's an animation at all, right? All right, so I'm just going to keep hitting the copy frame. Already up to eight frames now. Go ahead, swirl around. I'm going to have some earth, some ground down here, so I don't need to do the whole thing. If you have a little few spaces opened up, that's okay. It looks kind of cool. Uh, and if you paint over where you're already painted, uh, gives it a cool textured look. Copy frame again. Uh, now I'm going to switch. Uh, okay, so we'll go with some grass here. Get that color going. So we'll start. Copy frame. Get out of my way by clicking there. Copy frame. So I'm just kind of clicking up here to get the timeline to drop away, copy frame. It always jumps up every time we click copy frame, right? Oh, and there's one of those pesky, annoying advertisements, copy frame. Copy frame. Copy frame, okay. Um, up to 15 frames, you can see the frame count right over here. So uh, now I think I need some some sun. So I'm going to go to a sun color. Uh, and remember, your sun can be any color you want. That's the cool thing about animation is it could be whatever you want. I'm going to use the circle tool. And I'm going to come out here. Draw a nice cool sun. Copy frame. I'm going to use the bucket tool to fill bucket tool to fill. Oh, why is it doing that? I said bucket frame. That's strange. Oh, let's take a look and see what the tool options say. And oh, that's why it's so small, I guess. Huh? Okay, well, that's not behaving right. Um, for whatever reason, I'm going to click copy frame again. Uh, this is not filling my my circle like I thought it would. 
but that's okay. I can just uh, use the brush tool, kick it down a bit on size. Oh, let me, uh, oh man, zoom. Uh, let me undo all that and just color it in. Okay, that should have worked, that bucket tool. I'm sure it'll work for you. I don't know why all of a sudden it's not working. Copy frame again. I'm up to 18 frames. All right, just kind of copy or just paint it in here. Doesn't have to be perfect. Copy frame. Now I'm going to jump to the pencil tool. Change up my color just a little bit. Maybe get a little more red going into that. And okay, I need to kick this size way down. Like maybe to one. And then I can start putting in some solar rays. And you can see I'm just every couple of strokes co clicking copy frame. That's the key to this. The more frames, the better. Okay. And then finally, uh, I will have I'll zoom out. I'll zoom back in. Uh, and uh, now I'm going to go and maybe draw a little flower. So go to a darker green, I guess. and have my flowers start to grow. Get some leaves going. And finally, let's get a nice pink magenta flower. Uh, let's see. Go with the brush on that tool or two. <laughs> oh, what happened? Oh, I guess we're going to have to grab the color from there. I thought it would be working from here. There it goes. Okay. Copy frame. Copy frame. All right, so you get the idea what we're trying to do. I'm up to 32 frames now. Now, we want it to pause for maybe a half a second to a full second, so that would be five to 10 frames uh, that we just click copy frame that many times. So copy frame, copy frame, copy frame, copy frame, copy frame. I'm gonna take it all the way up to 40 so that we get a little bit of a delay before it starts over again, right? Because it's gonna loop and it's gonna be an infinite loop when you have a GIF. So I'm going to click Preview. You could see this progress. Okay. So we've got some cool stuff out there that you guys have already done, I've noticed. Uh, here's an example. Go to Period 6. Go to Yadira. And look at her animation. And you can see her pixel art example okay beautiful all right so that's what you're looking to do then once you're done with that uh, we want to go to our Wix page log into your Wix account go to the site actions and go to edit site she takes you here to your home page change it up to your animation page oh we got to remember we got to export this now forgot to do that okay so I'm gonna go up here to file download and we just want to click download and you're gonna see it generate the file it takes a little bit the more frames you have the more now you're going to get a, a window that pops up here on your Chromebook that says it's it's done it's downloaded it's gonna be in your downloads folder on your Chromebook too. remember that um, and I'm going to go to my animation page. 
So I'm jumping back to my animation page on Wix and I'm going to add image, image uploads, upload media, upload from computer. Now here's where you should see your folder, your, your downloads folder. You should see it right away. Me, I've got to play around a little bit. Let me go get it. Here it is right here. Click open. Okay, there it is there. Double click on it or just click on it and click add to page. And then you just move it down. Just move it down. Don't change the size. Don't worry about making the page too long. You can, as you push down on your images, they'll push that bottom dot, dotted line down and your page can be as long as it, as long as it, as long as you want it. Okay. So don't think you have to get it all, all your assignments to fit here. All right. Just, just go ahead and make use of scrolling down feature of a website. Okay. Uh, and make sure you label it pixel art two. And then biggest thing, most important thing is to click publish because I will not see it unless you click or click on publish. Okay. That's key. All right. That concludes this training video. Good luck, you guys. Good luck.